Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the color zones module in Draggable for color grading. So let's get into it. Just to show you, I've got a picture here. I have already worked on this picture using the color zones module. This is before and this is after. Just to show you, now I'm going to duplicate the original image and work again. The color zones module works in CIE LCH color space, which separate pixels into lightness, chroma, I mean saturation, and hue components. It allows us to manipulate the lightness, saturation, and hue of targeted groups of pixels through the use of curves. The color zones module offers three different methods for selecting which pixels you want to adjust. They are select by hue, which comes by default. By selecting this option, you can select pixels to manipulate based on their hue. Second option is select by lightness. Select this pixel to manipulate based on their lightness. Third option, select by saturation. It selects pixels to manipulate based on their saturation. Once you have chosen a pixel selection method, the selected range of lightness, saturation or hue levels will appear along the horizontal axis of three pixels manipulation curves which can be viewed and adjusted by choosing the appropriate tab, such as lightness, saturation, and hue. Lightness. By adjusting the lightness curve up or down in a given location, you can brighten or darken pixels matching hues where the curves has been raised or lowered, respectively. Saturation. By adjusting the saturation curve up or down, we can desaturate to make less colorful or resaturate to make more colorful. Hue. By adjusting the hue curve up or down in a given location, you can shift the hue of pixels matching hues where the curves has been raised or lowered, allowing you to replace one color with another. Now, range selection. When we adjust the pixels manipulation curves, it can sometimes be difficult to judge exactly where on the horizontal axis pixels will fall. To the right of the tab controls are a pair of color pickers that can be used to assist with this. If we click this color picker and choose a pixel in the image, we will see a dark particle line showing where that pixels fall on the horizontal axis. If you click on the right hand color picker, you can similarly choose a rectangular area on the image and the display will be shown as described. Now I'm going to demonstrate even further about controlling this module. Friends, as you can see here, we have an option. It is edit by area. Choose how to interact with the curve. This setting is disabled by default, allowing the control points for the curve to be freely placed. Check the box to fall back to the legacy edit by area mode, which functions in a similar way to the spline curve control used in Oblate modules. And then we have mask display. Enable the mask display to highlight pixels that have been affected by color zones adjustments in yellow. And then we have process mode. Choose between a smooth or strong processing mode. The default mode is less likely to cause artifacts. 
but if you want something even further then you can go with strong mode mix use this parameter to tune the strength of the overall effects we create using this module and then we have the option of using different interpolation methods it depends mainly on the type of image we work on if we have an image with so many things in it i mean so many objects um in that case we might consider to change the interpolation method to get the better result but mostly you can go with the by default setting in this regard however you can try the different options depending on the image you work on friends i hope this tutorial will help you thanks for watching i'll see you next time